How's it going everyone? So for today's video we are talking about spare rations. Now this gun came back this season and I was so excited about it. Spare rations back in the day when I first started playing Destiny 2 was my gun. It was my favorite hand cannon. The most comfortable hand cannon I've ever used. The most like balanced perfect hand cannon. It felt amazing. It was the gun that got me into really enjoying hand cannons. So the the fact that it was coming back had me really really excited and I was really hoping that it was going to be really good. And it is. It is very good. A lot of people really likes the slide shot opening shot roll for PvP, and I totally get it. The range that you get from slide shot after, after sliding, and then opening shot gives you that first round. Now, I still have my opinions on opening shot. I really don't like it. Honestly, I'd rather have kill clip on this gun than opening shot. I just, I understand that people like the the accuracy bonus for that first shot to make it easier to follow up. But in my opinion, if your first shot is the only one that can reach out to range, then it's not even you're like worth it because you're gonna hit a, you're gonna hit that first shot farther out and then your second two shots to follow up aren't gonna be doing any good so obviously you can close the gap and there's things you can do but i've never been the biggest fan of opening shot on hand cannons but slide shot's really good as well because that gives you that a lot of range you're always going to be sliding so you don't have to reload it gives you a little bit of stability for that first round so it's always nice to have but my god roll for pvp would be moving target and kill clip with small bore and accurized rounds to get the range as high as you can without being too much of a de detriment to other stats but we're actually not talking about that. The, this gun, honestly, PvP, I would take my God Roll IS Luna over Spare Ashens in PvP. My spare, my um, God Roll, my preferred roll of IS Luna has more range and feels so much better. Even though Spare Ashens feels really good. But in this gun in PvE is actually so good. And it's going to get insane next season. Now, in PvE, my God Roll would be Small Bore, Ricochet, with Rapid Hit and Kinetic Tremors. That turns this hand cannon into a champion monster and even just a chunking monster. And next season, they're going to be buffing hand cannons damage the red borders by 25% and yellow bar, yellow borders, yellow, yellow bar enemies to, by 75%. So this gun with kinetic tremors and rapid hit is going to absolutely melt higher health uh, enemies. And then hopefully if you're lucky enough like this season, it probably won't be next season, but maybe if we're lucky enough, we're going to have another uh, hand cannon champion season which this one will shine for sure. I've already used this gun in a Grandmaster. It definitely excels in slower play, slower gameplay, gameplay where you're gonna be taking your time and you're not speeding through because obviously this gun isn't gonna be clearing ads as good, nearly as good as other weapons or an exotic. But for a Grandmaster, I think this weapon fits perfect and next season it is going to be insane. Now, you could obviously still use Malfeasance over this. I still would take Malfeasance over this any day. Malfeasance Lucky Pants is insane. But this hand cannon, if you're using up your exotic slot already, is a great second because the kinetic tremors kind of acts as a foe of what Malfeasance does. It's like a little a little brother to Malfeasance. And then rapid hit is absolutely amazing because you'll be unloading on a champion. And then as you're unloading, you're hitting crits. You get your reload immediately, and then you get to start pounding straight back into them. So, and then you get the proc kinetic tremors. And kinetic tremors on hand cannons is a six shots and it'll proc kinetic tremors. So I've tested it out and I will show you footage right now where I use kinetic tremors to try to, I had the idea of only shooting six and then reloading immediately and then shooting six, reload, shoot six, reload. And right now on unstoppables, it doesn't really matter. I found that you generally just want to unload no matter what. It, it doesn't really do, it doesn't really do you much better because you still have to hold the ADS for a second to get um, unstoppable back. But on something like a overload champion or a, an anti-barrier, if hand cannons ever do become anti-barrier, it's going to be great because you can just unload, constantly proccing kinetic tremors, constantly getting your reload back to 100, and you're just pounding on that champion, dealing so much damage. And oh my gosh, that 75% damage buff next season is going to be insane. This is going to be so good for taking out champions, and it's going to be so much fun. I'll show you some Grandmaster gameplay, and that is where it really shines, where you can really take your time and sit back. And obviously there's going to be people who are saying there's better options. There's going to be people who say you can get through the Grandmaster much faster with other options. But this is perfect for somebody who likes to take their time, likes to be safe, likes to be very secure and know that they're going to be able to get through that Grandmaster with a weapon that is extremely easy to obtain. All that you have to do is play literally any gameplay or playlist in the game to get your Sonar Station Engrams. And I have already gotten up, up to the maximum 99 just by playing what I do mostly Crucible. And I was like, oh wow, look at that, I have enough. So I went and started buying a bunch, and there we go. I got the rapid hit kinetic tremors roll that I've been searching for. I'm still searching for the PvP one to try to get that. But right now, this is about that roll, and 
it is really really easy and i think this is going to be one of if not the greatest hand cannon for pve in terms of the champion obviously something like fate bringer or the the ones coming to my head right now um sally's bane and those are much better for ad clear for sure this one is going to take out champions like nobody's business so yeah that's basically the gist of today's video i just wanted to make a video talking about spare actions and its potential for pve i don't i haven't really seen a whole lot of people using it in pve at least i don't play too much i've been doing i do raids and i do i definitely dabble a lot more than most hardcore pvp players because i love the pve in this game i i play pve for pvp but i do really enjoy pve and this gun is so so comfortable feels so fun to use and uh, it's definitely going to be one that sticks around. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this today's video. Please go out and get this and try it for yourself. And again, if you if you think there's better options, I understand. There are definitely some some situations right now, especially or different playstyles. That's the thing with Destiny is like, I think there are. It's hard to say better options because I feel like a lot of what comes up is personal preference. There definitely is better options. Like, I wouldn't. I would never see somebody running into PVE with offhand strike and like focus fury i mean i guess you could make a, an argument for focus fury but like obviously this is going to be better and then there's going to be people saying that other weapons are probably better for taking down champions like malfeasance which i agree with but this one's a great option for somebody who wants to just chill out and play the pve take your time and be safe so uh, yeah enjoy i uh, hope you enjoyed today's video if you want to see more of what i do i do a lot of pvp stuff but i will definitely be making pve videos um subscribe like and make a comment about what you think and if you've already gotten this gun if you've already been using it and have been enjoying it leave a comment below and i will try to reply and thank you guys so much for watching